<clears throat> okay, so the claim that I will be repeating was presented by Alec Gee, and he, his claim was that the Transportation uh, Security Administration, or the TSA, was an ineffective security agency. Alec supported his claim with two um, secondary claims. His first claim was that the TSA fails to screen physical threats, and his second claim was that air marshals failed to do their jobs. I'll be refuting uh, secondary claims by um, supplying context that was uh, left out of the evidence presented. Alex's first supporting claim was that the TSA failed uh, to screen potential physical threats. He cited uh, an internal study conducted by the Department of Homeland Security that found that 67 out of 70 of their uh, red teams were able to pass through TSA screenings with contraband. The red teams are, are intended to, are conducted uh, so that they, the system itself can improve. Uh, in the same article that Alec used uh, uh, for it to get that statistic, it also stated that upon learning of the initial findings, the Office Inspector General's report Johnson, who was the director of Homeland Security at the time, immediately directed the TSA to implement a series of new uh, of other actions, several of which are in place now. The red team was also conducted about three years ago, and since then there has been a new internal study. Uh, the results of the study have not been released to the public, although lawmakers have described it as poor, uh, it is known to be an improvement from the last red team that was conducted. I believe that it's also worth mentioning that <coughs> according to the TSA in 2015, which was the same year that the red team uh, was first conducted, the TSA screened 708,316,339 passengers and 2,653 uh, firearms were confiscated. And out of that 708,316,339 passengers, we confirmed <coughs> that they missed 67. The advocate mentioned that the TSA uh, was established in response to the September 11th uh, terrorist attacks. Since then, there have been zero airplane hijackings of American Airlines and zero successful terrorist attacks of uh, American Airlines on American soil. The advocate's second point was that air marshals uh, are an ineffective form of security and fail to do their jobs. I think it's important to clarify that the Federal um, Air Marshal Service has actually been around since 1962 and only came under the supervision the supervision of the TSA in 2005. Uh, the, <coughs> the Federal Air Marshals Service uh, has two parent agencies, one of which is the TSA, the other being the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, according to the national president of the Air Marshals Association, Doug, uh, John Casaretti, U.S. Air Marshals are only aboard a about less than 1% of all flights in the United States. Uh, and as Alec mentioned in his speech, there are only around 4,000 air marshals in total. Uh, Casaretti stated that there were around, there are around 30,000 commercial flights in the United States every day, and in order to have two air marshals on every flight, the agency would have to employ 75,000 air marshals, accounting for trainings and days off. From this, it's reasonable to assume that U.S. air marshals are a form of built-in redundancy rather than a primary source of security. The advocate also stated that air marshals pose more of a security risk than, a se than security enforcement. Although the amount of misconduct within the Federal Air Marshal Service is unfortunate, it doesn't uh, support the claim being 
uh, made here. The evidence that Al provided were uh, offenses like drunken driving and domestic battery. The crimes, these crimes really have nothing to do with the safety of American air travel. In conclusion, as in, imperfect as the, uh, the TSA is, uh, there is contextual evidence that was let up, uh, was omitted from the advocate's speech, and evidence and secondary claims presented by the advocate does not prove that the TSA is an inefficient agency. That's pretty good. <laughs> Was that your argument he was responding to? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I was wondering why we were giving that declamation there. All right, um, the uh, secondary points are labeled clearly. I like the idea that you said that there's a context that has to be provided here, um, and then you do a good job explaining what that context is. You talk about what the function of the red team is, that the goal is to increase security, that having discovered uh, mistakes that they have done improvements in security. They continue to not be as successful as they would like to be. It wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be great if we were all perfect? But like you said, it is a continuing process and you've got a good explanation of that. Uh, when you put it in the context of the number of screenings that they're doing and the number of things that they apparently missed, I think that that suggests that it's not significant as a big, as significant a problem as the advocate presents it to be. And then, you know, you, you when you finish off that whole section with the most important information, that is there have been zero hijackings and zero successful terror attacks on American uh, airlines originating in the United States, that seems to be uh, a pretty effective measure. Like you said, you know, nobody is suggesting that they are perfect, but uh, they are apparently doing an effective job. And I don't know if there would be some other way. I, I hate to start doing too many comparisons, but I think you could look at say, okay, yeah, let's look at the, the period of time before um, the TSA was in place, what was the security like, how many hijackings were there. I mean, we know that we got the one big event that happened, but maybe there were more events, and you could simply say, you know, uh, we have had fewer events compared to what was existing before the TSA. That seems to indicate that something is working also. But I think you've got the right argument there. And on the air marshal argument, uh, the fact that there are two uh, parents, that it's been around since 1962, that's historical context. How important that is, I don't know. I think the argument that you're making, though, that it's really a redundant program, that it's there to fill in gaps, to add some extra measure. And one of the things that you might mention, of course, is that all of these things, this is the one part of your argument that I think is missing, are often deterrents. It's got less to do with the notion that can they respond effectively than it is that somebody was worried about you know, there's going to be security there and that might discourage people from trying to attempt something because they are uncertain about what's going on there and that deterrence is not affected by whether or not an air marshal had a drunk driving arrest or was you know a domestic abuse issue or something like that the question is is there an air marshal on the damn plane? Do I have to? Who do I have to be watching out for as I want to assemble my bomb in the bathroom? You know that kind of stuff. I think that that's a point that you were missing. But the redundancy argument is attempting to make that. It just needs to be explained a little bit more clearly. All right. Thank you.